2002 to 2013, biofuels grew more than 500% in the US, as production of crop-derived ethanol and biodiesel became a mainstream substitute or supplement to gasoline in our cars. In fact, back in the day when Henry Ford first developed his Model T, he thought it would run on ethanol. The discovery of vast amounts of cheap oil all over the world unfortunately made it the go-to energy source, but renewable biofuels are making a strong comeback now. The only problem is that the currently dominant first generation of biofuels use the same land and resources that have traditionally been used to grow food, which is driving up the cost of food and causing big problems in a lot of the developing world. So something has to change if biofuels are going to give us a chance at replacing oil with something clean burning. That's where a plant like switchgrass comes in. It's hardy, it grows like a weed just about anywhere, and it isn't food. But if we wanted to run all of the world's cars on it, we'd need to plant it on an amount of land equivalent to the entire countries of Russia and the United States combined. So that's not going to work. This brings us to the third generation of biofuels, algae, which has all the right ingredients to replace oil once and for all. Algae's natural oil content is greater than 50%, which means it can be easily extracted and processed. We can convert the remaining parts of the plant into electricity, natural gas, and even fertilizer to grow even more algae without chemicals. Algae grows quickly and doesn't need farmland or fresh water. Just last month, Alabama became the world's first algae biofuel system that can also effectively treat human wastewater. This actually resulted in a carbon negative outcome. The 40,000 a day demonstration plant basically floated giant bags on a bay, pumped wastewater into them, added a little algae, and then let the sunlight do its thing. Before long, algae had grown everywhere and cleaned the wastewater so well it could either be released back into the bay or reused by people as drinking water. 